Karen was a student teacher, finishing her degree at Hofstra University. And since she was a student and I was a teacher, I was not allowed to date her. So I waited till the last day and I went over and uh, asked her out for a date. <laughs> and that was 1966. When we first learned about AOS, quite honestly, I had no idea what it was about. I didn't even know what it stood for. The first doctor looked at us, and it was probably seven years ago. Some of our kids were there, and he said, uh, you do have AOS, and I suggest you do everything you ever wanted to do in the next two months. And that was not not taken too well. Uh, that was difficult to overcome. I think when we first found out um, that she was diagnosed, of course we were all in shock and in panic. All I knew is that, you know, she had a time limit on her life and it just was just such a shock. I was uh, going on my last week at college and I got a call that kind of confirmed it. It was kind of a sad moment, but we had started to understand what we were facing. Seven years is a long time with AOS. It's not the longest. I mean, it can go a dozen years, maybe a little bit longer. Karen has never quit, and I'm a big believer in, in that. And hopefully they're, they're making medical uh, progress in finding out what causes AOS and how to correct it. So that's, that's, the, that's the hope that, the, that the, uh, the research comes with an answer. So. She actually, when she was teaching on Long Island, she was taking uh, art classes from a fellow named Rogers, who was quite an artist, and uh, he was a watercolorist. And uh, she took classes from him and quite honestly got too busy with her family and stopped teaching and then she quit. Until about four years ago, our son Greg thought it would be a neat idea to buy her some paints. It's, uh, you know, it's horrible for me to say, but uh, we're excited. I mean, she's excited. She's excited about uh, finding this cure. And uh, as Karen says, she can't eat, speak, um, or, or walk, but she's not out. She started painting again and uh, has really taken it on. She likes to win. She doesn't like to lose. And, uh, and when people are applaud her, applaud her paintings, uh, she gets excited, and, uh, and that's what that's the driver. <laughs>